Hi everyone, how's it going? Matt Dismalto right here. Welcome back to another uh, episode of the European Defense Nice 4 playthrough as Denmark. Last time we declared war on Brandenburg. We later on decided to call in the Commonwealth and France to our side, so hopefully they'll be able to help us out. And, well, how are we doing over here? Like, yeah, see, you would take a vassalization, which is great. Uh, I'll proclaim a guarantee against you as, you as well. So I'll be like, you know, if England decides to attack you while I'm not looking, I'll uh, be able to attack. Uh, yeah, so we lost that fight, uh, which is a bit of a shame. But, uh, who could we smash up here? Well, I'm hoping that sort of France can come in over here and smash things up on this side. I'm hoping so, anyway. They better had. Because uh, that's the whole reason why I called them in in the first place. Uh, right, we're about to siege out Berlin, though, which is a big one. Uh, so, here's a good question. So, they, they're suddenly willing to take this, you know. Um, I would like absolutely all of your money as well. They would take that, really? You would take that? Wow, you're so beaten up. I think the Commonwealth's getting smashed as well over here. Maybe that's not such a good thing, then. But they would take that deal. <clears throat> Pulled you into a dreadful war, didn't I? <laughs> Everyone just went and swarmed on the Commonwealth. But I would like this. If I can take Berlin, you know. So, like... So they're not willing to take this all of a sudden. But Lübeck, you know, and... I could take more if I wanted to. But I, I just want Lübeck. That's really all I want, to be honest. So they're not willing to take it, but you know, um, anything else we could get you to do? Like you could release uh, Magdeburg as well. Oh, demanding without occupying any port. Well, we're about to uh, siege out um, Berlin, so that will be fine. And then literally all your money. So yeah, that'll be fine actually. So as soon as this, uh, as soon as this falls here, we'll be in a good spot. Uh, there's a lot of fighting going on over here though. Probably jump in and attack that with this army, but I might conserve that army a little bit. Uh, yeah, the Platinate's here now as well. Uh, but if we can win this siege, we'll be in a really good area uh, to be able to actually do this and actually get what we want. We got a ticking war score as well from uh, occupying Lubeck. Uh, now we could take the admin, but to be honest, I need to keep some back uh, for coring here. Come on, Berlin. Oof, wow. Uh, big victory over there for somebody. I think it was this stack here. Yeah, good. The Commonwealth actually managed to beat that back. Well done. Good job, Commonwealth. Uh, yeah, if we can... Yes, we won the Siege of Berlin. Brilliant. Okay, so are you willing to take this now? Yes, you are. Van Dabby Dozy. Okay. How, how sort of badly are you willing to take this? Okay, good. This is acceptable. So I get Lubeck, which is the real thing that I wanted here. Uh, I get a huge batch of money, and uh, we release up Magdeburg. Send demand. Done. Literally. There we go. Right, we have a demand of unlawful territory from the Palatinate. Decline. Right, what I will do is I will probably keep the uh, 20k stack sat here in Lubeck to fend off any rebels. And we will then transport over the uh, 23k stack over to here, ready to attack England. So Lubeck, core. Brilliant. That's going to massively improve things over here. What? <laughs> France is the Holy Roman Emperor? I don't think I've ever seen that, ever. That's amazing. Right, rule marriage off from the Commonwealth. Alliance off from Wales. Yes, we'll take that. And therefore, off of vassalization. Brill. <laughs> You're the Emperor! What the fuck? <laughs> that is ridiculous. I have never seen that, ever. That's mad. France isn't even part of the Holy Roman Empire. 
There's going to be some sort of fight there. There's got to be. Right, so let's move these guys over then. Uh, what I will do is... Uh, no, it's asking me to dishonor France over here. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cancel the military access to Lubeck now, because we don't need it. So that will mean I'm not paying any more Diplo points towards that. And what we are going to do is we're going to attack uh, England. Uh, I don't think... We, no, we don't have a truce with England, but we have a... We have a truce with England, but we don't with Kildare. So we're going to go and attack Kildare. And um, England's going to get involved, inevitably. And then I don't think we're going to be able to take much land from England, but we will certainly take land over here from Kildare. We'll smash them apart quite handily. We've got claims over there as well, so... Right, so let's grab our transports and move them back over to here. Uh, the 26k, I think, can deal with this. The 21k can come over here and deal with what Kildare's got to offer. Um, <clears throat> Actually, this is the 23k, isn't it? Yeah, so you can move over there as well. Uh, so we've got transports in the area. Uh, this 20k stack can stay here. Uh, do I use my lights to blockade? I don't know. We'll pitch them up in here, and we'll see whether they're going to be blockading. Um, oh, it's Brandenburgian separatist actually in Lubeck, which is interesting. Uh, but Lubeck was what I wanted uh, because it's the centre of trade in this area, and that is exactly what I needed. Right, so with our two vassals helping us out over here, Sligo, Wales, well, Iceland will help us out as well. We have no royal marriage with any of these guys though, so maybe they'll send me. Oh no, Wales is fine. Sligo, on the other hand, is not. Right. It hit my legitimacy, but it's fine. And Iceland as well, we need to uh, send over to here. And get our royal marriage back from Iceland. There we go. Excellente. Right. So, uh, we have the ability to tech up. And I will, in I will actually take the admin tech this time. Administrative monarchy and administrative republic. Um... Yeah, which would be this one. Yeah. Oh well. Right, so. Um, have I still got. No, we're still improving in the Papal State. That's good. So. Uh, let's make sure I've got this right. Uh, no, truce, 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 truce. Here we are. So we have a truce with England, but not with Kildare. So we can attack Kildare. England will get involved. Which they will. There we go. But uh, the primary aim is to actually massacre up. Um, Kildare over here. So Kildare, let's go declare war, take Connacht, which is this one over here, confirm. Right, so you hit here, can walk into here. Right, England joined the war, let's move straight into marches and siege that. Cool, okay, so Sligo is going to do some sieging over here as well, which is going to help us, help us out a huge deal. Wales is also coming across over here. Uh, right, so... Do I attack that army? I don't know. Where's Sligo going? It's interesting, because Sligo... Yeah, I can say, like, where are you going? Right, six ships in there. Right, yeah. What is the uh, composition of the English Navy? 6, 5, 14, so 25... Can we can move uh, some ships in here, you know. Uh, let's move our lights into here. And... Move our transports around to somewhere like here. That might be better. <coughs> right, so we move our lights into here. We're going to be attacking a little bit. We're going to take some damage, I'm pretty sure. Uh, but let's move our transports to here so that we stop that kind of stuff are happening. Also, we're going to be helping with the siege over there. Blockade uh, Kildare ships in there as well. Stop them from escaping. Siege of Kildara is over. Uh, let's attack into this stack then. Also blockading those ships in as well, which is helpful. Uh, Iceland is coming over with some ships, so you're going to do some blockading. Cool. Uh, my ports are blockaded, really. 
Oh, okay, that's over here. It's going to be a fight between the Icelandic and English ship there. Okay, stack wipe there, brilliant. Uh, is this a fort? No, it's not. It's just there was a picture of a fort there. I wonder what the hell is going on. Uh, right, so let's just sort of carpet siege a little bit around here. We're going to catch up that little stack. Good. And go over there. Lovely. <clears throat> okay, yeah, so we run into some trouble over here. Might actually go in with my light and go in and help that out. Because uh, that might struggle a bit. Yeah, we're losing a few ships there, but then we just piled in with uh, our numbers. We are fighting heavies. Have to bear that in mind. Right. We're winning, though. Brilliant. Uh, Iceland was also in there. Right, cool. So, let's move into here, then, and blockade everything that's in there. Um... Right. Completely seize that out. Ooh, I've got no morale. That's the problem. Uh, let's move over here then and try and help. I've got no morale. <coughs> we won that though. Uh, just like curiosity. Yeah, okay. So they need to pick up on morale, but most of the, most of it, the, they're okay. I'm gonna help that siege along. Ooh, we won the siege of marches. That was pretty quick. Um, March into London then, trap that army. And then we'll siege out Hampshire as well. So this army here needs to move into Hampshire. And we will do that. We have no leader here, which is a bit risky. Um, but it's okay. <coughs> Wales is actually doing some blockading there. It's not helping the siege along too much, but it is a blockade, so it's fine. Ah, Sligo. I could give some provinces. Does Sligo have any claims here? No. I was going to say, if Sligo had some claims, uh, I could give some of this to Sligo. It has a claim here. Well, I might give that to Sligo then. That might be quite good. Uh, just to uh, help make my vassal a little bit happier. And it's Sligo, of course. You know, we're going we're to keep Sligo. <coughs> I think we're going to take everything else for ourselves over there, though. But uh, we're going to siege out uh, a bit of England here. And just weaken them even more. Uh, we might take a couple of provinces. It's going to cost us double, though. That's the problem. But uh, we might take some provinces here. Uh, heavy ship and light ship cost. Well, that's good, because I'm about to spend more on flaming rebuilding my... Uh, my ships here. So let's move around here then and let's uh, push that away. And we're going to move around here to uh, beat that up. Yeah, see they're um, they're buggered off now, so uh, that's fine. Uh, we're about to recall a guy from the Papal State, aren't we? But uh, I think we'll sit in uh, Commonwealth and we'll improve some relations there a little bit more. They still like me, which is really good. Uh, I'm surprised that they haven't uh, attacked, you know, um, some of these guys over here and gone on to, um, you know, border friction and all that rubbish. Uh, I can safely mothball all my forts now, I think. I think that's going to be fine, just in case of any land in the one. I'll keep the one up in Lothian, though, just in case. Because you never know. Right, we're blockading that, which is brilliant. So that siege is going to move along fantastically well. Uh, and that's London as well. Uh, right, let's occupy some more provinces here. Wales is helping out. Don't know if Wales has any claims on this land at all. No, it doesn't. Well, uh, we'll take it. We're going to be diplo annexing Wales anyway at some point, so uh, we don't have to worry too much. Just out of curiosity, when can we? 1568. Okay, won the Siege of Hampshire. Uh, let's bring back the uh, guy from the Papal State. Uh, move to here. <coughs> as soon as you win the Siege of London, we will be able to super peace here. Uh, yeah, so we'll keep a diplomat kicking around. How much papal influence are we getting now? Nine, nearly ten, that's great. Truce of air, we won the Siege of London, brilliant. Okay, so let's super peace here against England. Um, 
double the cost, isn't it, to, to take these. But I wouldn't mind taking Derbyshire and Lincolnshire. That'll be okay. I'll take those two. Just to weaken them a little bit further. I know Marches is the fort. But that's going to be huge. Then again, Lincolnshire is 26. Derbyshire is 19. Yeah, sod that. I'll take the fort. <laughs> I will take all of your money. And I'll get you to revoke your core on Lothian. Oh, you're not willing to do this? Really? Fair enough. Okay, that's fine then. So two provinces, all your money, and uh, that'll do, I think. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, send demand. So England's out of the war. Uh, so this is the... Oh, which army is the one that stays here? I think it's the 20... No, it's the 26k stack, isn't it, that stays here? So you stand in marches. Actually, no, you stand somewhere over here. I don't know what's got... Yorkshire's got a massive supply limit. Let's go there. So you stand in Yorkshire, and this is the army that's going to be retreating back to the... Uh, the mainland over there, so to speak. Uh, right, let's make sure we can core those. <coughs> right. Excelente. Right, okay, so super piece in the... Uh, well, let's do it by here, it doesn't matter, but we'll super piece here. So, uh, we want... Um, can you not... Yeah, because Sligo hasn't occupied it, so we can't actually give that to Sligo. Um, we're going to take you all, though. Uh, yep, yeah, that's literally it. And all your money. Done. We'll take you all, then. We might as well. Uh, right. So, that's pretty good. Uh, excellent news, trade efficiency. Uh, right, okay. So, we'll have to spend some time coring these at some point. But Sligo, little vassal in there. Lovely. Uh, we might want to have another army over here. Like we might want to have two armies for the moment, because I'm not sure one army is going to be enough to like take on everything, all these rebels. Let's give, the, give them a good general, though, or a relatively good general. Uh, so we've got quite a lot of uh, rebels and things like that here, which is uh, understandable. So let's go ahead and pitch up all our, mare, all our ships over here. Uh, we could start doing some, um, actually, um, we could start converting, actually. So you're reformed, you're Protestant, and you're Protestant. So let's get some conversions in. That'll give us more papal influence. Oh, you are... I'm going to put you into this army, actually. Change where you're going to be going. Really? You're going to be able to fight that off? No. Okay. I will give you a hand, my friend. Walking down there. It allows our ships to repair in the meantime as well, which is great. Uh, yeah, so the rebels actually beat the Sligonian army there, but it's okay. Right, yeah, so we uh, we need to spend some time dealing with some of these rebels now then. Right, too few rivals. Uh, yes, so we need to announce Spain in here. Because uh, they announced me anyway, so... <clears throat> it's going for an attack there. They're not going to have a uh, full... Um, Full morale, so we should trash that up pretty darn easily. Uh, yes, we were already working there, so it's fine. Yep, that was easy. We only lost 200 men in that fight. Okay, move to Fife. Uh, I'm going to pick up the lights over here. Ooh, we actually left behind a transport. We must have captured one. We did lose one light ship, I think. Yeah, looks like we did lose one light ship. Because uh, you have 34, but it's fine. Let's go ahead and send you to protect trade. Are you repairing up first? You must be repairing up first, yeah. And then you're going to be uh, moving out. That's fine. Really? Can you get out of here, please? And then, yeah. Protect trade. Lubeck. What are you doing? Oh god, you literally just did it. 
Right, as long as you're protecting trade, I don't care. That was a bit of a bug. Don't know what was going on there. Uh, right, so let's go and mothball the one in Lothian. I'll keep the one up in Marches for now, though, because we do have a bit of separatism and things like that kicking around. Uh, right, I think we lost about four transports in that fight. I think we had 21 at one point. Guess we could build them back. Um, we've got a huge uh, awesome here, actually. Uh, so let's go three, four... Five. How many lights do we have? 33, so we need to create seven. Uh, six. Seven lights. Like that. And let's grab flute, and we'll create some transport ships. So we'll have loads of these. Come on. Uh, we'll go up to our force limit. There we go, that'll do. And we'll get some more transport so that we can uh, move men around a little bit more efficiently. Uh, right, uh, you're in the wrong dock. Okay, yeah, we have got some rebel factions starting to fire, uh, or threatening to fire. How many Lubeckian separatists is that? Only 15, that's fine. That's that's okay. Because we got uh, a 20k stack down there, so that's fine. Uh, but this army needs to come back across here. And we need to position it somewhere back down here. Uh, as soon as the Lubeckian Separatists have fired, uh, I imagine we'll move this army back across to the other side as well. Because uh, that's going to help. Yeah, we, we've got... We're a little bit over... We're a little bit stretched at the moment, I won't lie. We're a little bit stretched. Uh, but it's, it's going to be okay. I think it's going to be okay. okay. We're going to create some more men over here. Alright, so one, four, a couple more cannons. There we go, that'll do. Converted the heretics, lovely. Converted the heretics, brilliant. That means we can do some coring. Lovely job. Okay, so you guys need to board the ship. And you need to get over here. And then we'll move that army across to wherever this is. Like, we've got Muscovite guys, Rosanian guys, yeah. Lebeck, brilliant. Conversion's coming in here. So, 1568 is when we can annex. Now, we could annex Sligo, but you know, it's Sligo. We're not going to annex Sligo. <laughs> it's Sligo. You can't do that. That is the law. You're not allowed to. Right, so this army is going <clears> to <throat> become a lot bigger. Uh, I think I'll move the transports back across to here, actually, because um, I think they, they need it over there more than... Uh, I guess we'll maintain the diplomat in the Commonwealth for now. Uh, let's move these guys back over to Moscow. I think that's Moscow. Is that Moscow? Yeah, that's Moscow. Good. Okay, so... Commonwealth and France. Lovely. Uh, are we... Any detrimental places? Iceland? Me? And again, we do want to build some spy networks up, don't we? Um, so maybe we should keep going with our spy network in England. Who no longer has any allies. Lost the trade dispute, CB. That's fine, they must have threatened my trade at some point. Right, national ideas. We can take the Diplo one, but we're nearly there with our tech. So we're going to uh, hold out for that one. Uh, institution spread, that's going to be quite important. Um, let's have a look at how we're doing then. So, feudalism, colonialism is nearly there for everywhere. Printing press is starting to get there in some of these places, and over here as well it's starting to. So, uh, still a while away yet before we actually really see the big benefits of, the, of that, and uh, it's still going to be a bit of an issue. Right, tax money, how are we doing? Nice. Cool. Me likey. Uh, so move you into there. That's going to give you a decent army there. Eight cannons. That should be enough. So many rebellious factions, but it's like, you know, some of them are never going to fire. Some of them will. Cool. Okay, we're doing okay here. 
Uh, these are Lubeckian Scepter, yeah. That's why I've kept that 20k army there. Bribes. Gain corruption. Whoopee. Well, it'll disappear by the end of the year, so that's fine. <clears throat> so you go, Wales. England is now 1571 because we went to war with them again. Move you. What? So, move you round to here. Interestingly, we're still only 13th in the world when it comes to total score. Uh, we're first in military, but we're 60th in Diplo. That is how far behind Diplo we are. It's amazing. Uh, and that's from... I can't remember how actually we ended up falling behind there. Uh, the actual reason for us falling behind. So you perk up, pitch up there. We got any more shit? I think we had a couple more that are building over here, didn't we? No? Ah, oh, there they are. They're all here. Good. 40. Should be fine. And you're all going to protect trade in Lubeck. Brilliant. Okay. Uh, these guys are all transports. So let's pitch you all up in Fife. And we'll unify you together to create an army. Well, a navy, I should say. And that is all our force limits, I believe. Yes, it is. Good. Being at the force limit is important. It means you're maximising what you're getting out of your money. Uh, cool. Okay, we're still making good money as well, despite the fact we're rooting out a bit of corruption there as well. But uh, because of the, the expansion that we're doing here, it's really good. And our two vassals, well, our three vassals, actually, are throwing money at us as well. So Wales and Sligo are throwing a little bit more than... Uh, Iceland are, but it's okay. It's absolutely fine. So, English Separatists about to fire, and Brandenburgian Separatists about to fire. Okay. Diplotech. Yes, please. Naval morale increased. Cool. That's probably one of the reasons we struggled a little bit with the sea battles as well, because like, our, our ships were a little bit out of date, but um, the other reason was that... Um, uh, we were sort of suffering a little bit by being behind on Diplotech, and um, as a result, we were not quite, we didn't quite have the morale of everybody else, so. Right, let's send to marches then. Connacht has a religious zeal, that's a bit annoying. Uh, so the English Separatist fired, so I can safely multiple this now. I think English might be one of the cultures that we end up accepting uh, as well. I, re I reckon that's going to be one of the ones that we accept. Uh, Wales actually came in and helped us out there. Thank you very much. Uh, huge manpower. We're actually at max manpower. Great. Uh, that's brilliant. Glad about that. Okay, so Iceland is still kicking around over here. We've got our Royal Marriage back with those guys. Uh, let's call the guy back from France, and I think what we'll do is we'll just go and sit in uh, Iceland for a little while, improve some relations. Uh, I don't know whether it allows you to um, make more money from your vassals if you have better relations. I don't actually know. So, uh, right, Derbyshire is the next one. Yeah, staying Catholic was a brilliant thing to do. Absolutely brilliant thing to do. So Limerick and Cork are under religious zeal for a while. Uh, there we go, religious zeal. Uh, but it's okay. Okay, money from trade has gone up since we've taken Lubeck. That's another really good thing to note. Right, but I think I'm going to end the part right here. So that's it for now. Thanks for watching. If you like EU4, please repeat to like, comment, and subscribe. And that's it. And join me next time for more from myself, Matt Dizamato. Cheers for watching, guys.